off on another adventure. We're back in the uh, Black Mountain Wild Forest area. Um, today we're going to be hiking out to Lapland Pond Lean To, doing some fishing. We got John, as always, with, burr, his, burr, burr. with his epic backpack of all the good things. Got some good uh, treats planned for when we get to the Lean To. We got Mark and Daisy as well. So it's gonna be a good day. About two miles out to the lean-to, and uh, then we're gonna start fishing. So stick around. We just ran into a group of people who uh, had stayed at Lapland Pond lean-to for a couple days, and they were saying that uh, they had a few bites and uh, a couple times where a fish was on and they didn't actually pull it in. So um, we'll see how it goes today. John, what, what kind of stuff did you bring for uh, lures? We'll wait for a little bit and I'll set up the tackle shop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There's always a tease for something better later on. Stick around. Place looks vastly different than it did two months ago when John and I were here doing the uh, Black Mountain hike. Um, Spring is greening up this place. There's no uh, snow and ice pack with water running underneath it. Uh, life is good. <laughs> it's definitely nice to get out when it's green, even if the bugs are crazy. So uh, we plan on having a fire at the lean-to, and I think I'm going to grab some of this birch bark so we have a good way to start the fire uh, in order to cook the food that we brought. So uh, I'm glad we found this. It's good. good. this in the uh, birch bark pocket. Yeah, flooding this flooding this spring has been pretty crazy. Um, you can tell it's even damaged the bridge so far. It wasn't like that a couple months ago. I'll go first. Let's dude. see. Oh man, My that was a good one. This is gonna suck. I guess that means it's my turn, huh? We'll see how this goes. So the trail is a little wet. Check this out. That's supposed to be the trail going that way. Hopefully it's not crossing. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to go around we're going to go that way. Until we see yeah. Something. Fascinating. You can tell whose fault it is. There's probably a new dam down there that they built just for this new lodge. This is their new home. Look at that. Look at that right there. there that is a boss made. lodge right there. Huh. I guess we should go on an adventure. Huh. <laughs> All right, we. We're skirting around the, this, this new pond here, and we found where the trail kicks back up right here. So that wasn't so bad. It looked like it could have been totally worse. But uh, yeah, interesting. The landscape has changed. Just be aware. Huh. Getting close to the junction for Lapland. You can see the pond right up ahead of us. And then we're gonna head off to the left. Short little hike to the lean-to. I get started on the fun for the day. 
here we go. This area is great because there's a ton of different lean-tos uh, and ponds, but this one I remember from a couple of years ago is super awesome and uh, should be fun fishing. Fingers crossed, right? Check it out. We found a bunch of fiddleheads. That actually might be fun and exciting to try with the foods that we have today. Oh man, I didn't expect that. That's fun. Lean two's right up there. We're almost home. <laughs> oh, look at this place. It's awesome. Somebody was kind enough to leave us some wood. I think those hikers that just left. Oh, fire pit. Perfect. Look at that view. Look at that view. That's where we're going to do some fishing, boys and girls. Nice. Now John can take off his huge pack. It's got the everything, including the kitchen sink in it. You feel better having that off your back now? Or not too much stuff, the right amount of stuff. So one thing you always need is your ultralight titanium spork polished just to keep down the weight in your pack when you got a seasoned <laughs> cast iron pan. So we made it to the lean-to, obviously. Um, and you can kind of see the nonsense that we're bringing today since it was such a short hike. And the idea is just to hang out, throw some lines in, see if we can catch anything, uh, and just get outside and enjoy the weather. But John's pack explosions over there. We got mine and Mark's. Mark hasn't even opened his pack yet, and we're already got stuff everywhere. It's almost time for breakfast. <laughs> it is almost. Oatmeal's hash brown potatoes and Jack Link's breakfast sausage. <laughs> and now for something completely different. All right, so let's read it through. Open Oatmeal's bag and remove all contents. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I didn't even need my titanium spork. It comes <laughs> with a spoon. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Tear open heating element and place in oatmeal's bag. Insert food pouch. Heating element. Aha. Uh -huh. Open heating element. Place in bag with food pouch. Tear here to open. Heating element. Into the bag. Okay. Uh, insert food pouch. I need three to five ounces of agua diente. Huh. Agua diente. Um, three to five ounces of any liquid to fill line and seal bag. Let's steam and heat for three to five minutes. Interesting. Make sure I keep all my garbage together. So Wait, put the... any liquid? It does say any liquid. Interesting. Three to five ounces of any liquid. Hmm. Maybe Sweet. I shouldn't have peed. <laughs> I was thinking more whiskey. Oh, whiskey? Whiskey yeah. potatoes. Well, but it's not actually touching the, yeah. the food because um, it's in a bag. So it's any right. element. It's, it's must... just to activate the heating element. Yeah, Got so it. you can pee in it. I don't know. I'm going to try that, I think. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> that would be my own video. All right, so through the fill line. Demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see a fill line. Right here. It's on the outside. Oh, crazy sneaky oatmeals. Putting it on the outside. How the heck? It should be on the inside, though. How can I tell how high the water is? What do you think? You think it's about there a little bit more? 
What's gonna happen? It's just gonna. It's gonna get steam, warmer. I, I don't know. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. So then, careful. Oh no, no. Seal bag, and let steam and heat for three to five minutes. Oh, there's water. I think it's a steam one. hole. Yeah. Nice. John's food's done. Still steaming though. Oh, it's not See, quite done some, yet. Look at that. Put some you sausages in there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one way to do. yeah. You can put the sausage in there and put it back in to warm them up a little bit. Actually, the knife just against the table might be a better idea. Alright, let's, let's try it with the sausage sausages. Snossages. Snub it snacks. Yeah? Dude, try it. Alright, let's see what we got like, here. Make sure you get a sausage for the bite. Again, like I don't think like a four day trip, but like a one day trip. Definitely worth it. Yeah, if you're even as just a side. Yeah, it's pretty good. And this this spork is like super light. <laughs> <laughs> And it's polished so that nothing sticks to it. Well, how about that? Ah. <laughs> it's beautiful up here. You can fish right from that point right there. Nice. Very cool. How's it going, man? You found me in the weeds. <laughs> Do you have any weeds? So Mark's uh, just trolling some fish to see if we can catch anything. He found some newts, uh, little tiny guys hanging out over there. They're chasing the lure, which is really funny. Um, but nothing so far. Ooh, I got another seaweed fish. Ooh, Ooh that's a big one. Oh, oh, you lost half of it. Half of it got away. <laughs> uh, fish or no fish, we're still having a great time. We got a fire roaring back there. Um, and thankfully, we weren't counting on fish as being our only source of food for lunch. We got some fun stuff planned. So uh, stick around. We got a lot more interesting afternoon. Actually, it's still morning, I think. Might just oh, be like 11. Be so, uh, yeah, having a good time, just relaxing. Let's go down and harvest those fiddleheads, because I think that's going to be fun. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So John is the only one of the three of us that have had fiddleheads before, and uh, taking, a look, taking a look at these, they don't necessarily look the way he's so, used to. The ones in the store normally don't have leaves on them, and they don't have this like fur on them. So I don't think I'm going to eat these because I don't know yeah. if they're good or not. So that's the thing about wild edibles. You need to be 100% sure before you put it in your body because you never know what's going to happen, right? So we're not going to eat those, but we have plenty of other food. So uh, it's just about lunchtime. We're going to start cooking. We've got some nice coals set up, and uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's do this. All right, so are we putting this on, like, the outside here, or are we going to put it, like, right in the middle, or what are, we, what are we doing with this cast iron? I think the rule is put it over some coals. Whoops, that's the wrong end. Um... You don't want to cook directly with fire, you just cook with the heat of the coals. Mm. So we could probably make a little pull some out here. Pull some out here, make a little right balance on there. rock. Let's see, put it right on there, see what happens. Does it fit? Not yeah. floppy? No, no, it's good. Alright, cool. I'm let her heat up. Put Halfway there. In there. <laughs> So 
So we like to eat like kings, clearly. And uh, what do you got today, man? What is this? I don't know. Let's see. Life in the Clouds IPA. It's really good. Well, there you go. Huh? Another IPA. John loves those damn things. No, oh, thank you. Um, I like real beer. <laughs> but we've got some uh, steak tips, which those look incredible. I got some sausages and some cheddar wursts. So um, I think we're set. Even though we didn't catch any fish, we're still gonna have a really good lunch, I think. Welcome to John's Tackle Shop. <laughs> On the top, we got tools, leaders. We got some bobbers, some hooks, and some weights. Uh, we got all sorts of different trout here, and then we got bass fishing here, and a stringer here, because I thought we were gonna have the canoe. <laughs> we got it all, what do you want? <laughs> that thing's really cool. Uh, it folds up, and it fits right into his pack. Um, that's pretty wicked, I like it a lot. Is it heavy? No. I thought it was like gonna be one third the size though when I bought it, yeah. and it was huge. So, and we got one more pocket. I don't know what's gonna be in here yet. The fish. I'm gonna put in there. <laughs> so each of these lean-tos has an outhouse um, with it, but unfortunately, the one at the Lapland Pond lean-to uh, is pretty destroyed and it's rather disgusting so that's a huge bummer um wonder if we should consider volunteering and taking ownership of this lean-to that would be uh an interesting endeavor what do you think have you ever uh volunteered to caretake for a lean-to what's involved let me know in the comments below seems like it would be a noble endeavor Lunch is almost ready. Let's get some food. Oh yeah. That's delicious. Yeah? I would say a little even overcooked, but I got some going on. A little overcooked. Still super tender though. Good. Try it out. Gonna have, have to get some. Yeah. Sausages are ready. Oh man, that's good. Steak chips are ready. That's real good. Let's get some food. So, I made this, which some would call a steak, and we're gonna put the steak on the steak. I wonder if it tastes any better. So you might be able to see in the distance right there, there's a tower up there. That's Black Mountain. And uh, I'll link um, the Black Mountain video that we did a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was a couple months ago at this point, right? Yeah, so um, that's the debut of Schnimmit Schnicks with Chef John. We had some sea, sea, no, what was it? Lean to sushi, that's what it is. Um, and uh, it was a crazy wet day. But uh, yeah, we can see it pretty well from here. So you can check out the video up in your top right corner. I'll link it right there. I'm a little close to out of water, but uh, there's plenty of water here, and I just got a new Sawyer squeeze, so uh, I'm gonna test it out. Make sure that it works as well as I hope, because I got it for the Northville Placid trail hike, um, and I'm hoping it works really well. So let's see. Works pretty good and nice and fast. The uh, Sco Sawyer minis that I had before took forever. Um, they worked really well and I had them set up in a gravity feed, but uh, this right here, this is nice, quick, and convenient for when you're actually moving on trail. Um, sweet, I'll call that a win. All right, John's got one more treat 
for himself because I don't want any of what? this. But <laughs> I was gonna share it. We got dessert, <laughs> ready to eat, no drip, no mess, ice cream sandwich. Looks a lot like the astronaut. Uh, Oh ice cream. It's in like a package. Like, That's like weird. Too. That's crazy. There it is. Huh. It literally tastes just like an ice cream sandwich. There you go. <laughs> Mark, you want a piece? That's uh, that's what John's got for uh, this episode. Schnummit snacks, Chef John. It's really good. <laughs> Let's see. It's actually really, really good. Is it? Like, surprisingly. That's so weird. Huh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try that. Alright, I'll try it. Let's no, see. it's actually pretty good. <laughs> the texture throws you for a second, but... That's my problem. It's a texture thing. Mm. But it tastes... Alright, it tastes just like an ice cream sandwich. sandwich. You're right. It's amazing. You always got to trust Chef John. <laughs> so we went around and picked up a bunch of garbage. Um, we did what we can. Uh, that Thunderbox back there probably needs some serious love. Um, <laughs> Maybe like a couple shovelfuls of stuff can get out of here, but we just don't have the bags or the equipment to do it. We'll see. Maybe somebody who uh, can do something about that will watch the video. Let me know if you have uh, any questions because uh, I'll definitely tell you all about it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get started on the way back and uh, should be a quick two miles back to the car. It was a very quick two miles here, so I'm not really concerned. And our packs are lighter because we ate a whole bunch of food. <laughs> oh yeah, my pack is so much lighter. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Got that garbage bag on my back. Let's see how this goes. It's only two miles to the car, so it should be good. Look at that tree. That shouldn't still be standing. That's crazy. The bugs have been pretty incredible, the black flies, I should say. Um, highly recommend, if you wear a buff, pull it down over your ears because then those little buggers can't get inside your ear canal and drive you absolutely batty. <laughs> All right. Still about a mile and a half way back to the car. So Mark found that beaver dam we were talking about earlier. Check this out. Right That's incredible. Wow. Maybe if you can see through the trees, that lodge is right there. Man, the engineering that goes into this. Crazy. Let's see how this goes. I got wet earlier, so I don't really care one way or the other. <laughs> Oh boy, there we go. All's well in the world. All right, we made it back to the truck. We had a great day today. Um, about four miles round trip. Sure, we got skunked in fishing, but um, I think all of the meats made up for it. Um, I had a great day. What'd you think, John? Awesome time. Yeah? How about you, Mark? Thumbs up, yeah. <laughs> Daisy always has fun. She's just happy to get out on the trails. Um, and you should try and get out of the trails too. Um, if you could, do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, get outside. Try and do something awesome every single day. Till next week.